divide might hinder your relationship with one another, but also I absolutely saying this is a lifetime. I'm committed to you. Some days it will be a little more difficult than others. Uh, but that the, the 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 emotion and the love and all that goes into marriage, the bedrock of that is an ironclad uh, devotion and foundation that nothing's going to say. In other words, you're going into this thing you're locking the doors, you're nailing down the windows. And no matter what, with God's help, whatever comes up, you work it out. And, so, um, and then the final thing is not only a plea that there be no interference that, uh, to come between us, but also that, um, that you have a, just a, um, a promise that you're making to one another. And more importantly, what, what Ruth did is she said, may the Lord punish me. So she was promising primarily to the Lord. And in your relationship with Christ, uh, you've promised and are promising Him as well as promising each other. And so not only have that plea that nothing can come between you, you're not going to allow that, you're going to be watchful for that, that also you have a plan that this commitment is the solid rock upon which this marriage is built in Christ ultimately by His promise. And of course, He is the author of the marriage. So He'll bless that. So that's what I encourage you and challenge you to do. Daniel and Kenzie, because of your promises that you've made to God and to each other and because of your commitment to Christ and your dependence on His grace uh, to empower you in keeping these vows, acting on the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and according to the laws of this state, it is an honor for me to pronounce you husband and wife. So Daniel, you may kiss your bride.